Hi friends, I am Virbhadra making this Blender tutorial for IIT Bombay X MOOC courses as part of Spoken Tutorial series. Our course name is Basic 3D Animation using Blender. So today we are going to uh, do a small tutorial for creating a 3D chess pawn piece and a chessboard uh, using simple extrude and scale commands in Blender. We are going to do something like that which is right now on your screen. Okay, let's start then. I'm using Blender 2.69 version for this tutorial, but I'm sure that you can do the same in any version of the Blender. So let's start. Let me first delete this default cube because we are not going to use it right now. Select it using right mouse click and press delete or X on your keyboard and press enter to delete it. I'll need a reference image to make a 3D pawn model. So first of all let me get the image from my hard drive. You can also get the image by searching in Google or you can also use your imaginations only. Click N key to get the pop-up menu. Scroll your mouse. At the bottom of it there is an option called background image. Click on the box and press on the arrow just left of it. Press on add image button. Under that click on open. Browse your hard drive folder for the reference image and click open image. Background images can only be seen in front orthogonal view. So for that we have to press shortcut key 1 for front perspective view and press numpad 5 for orthogonal view. So here is our reference image of the pawn and we'll try to do something similar to it. I'm going to use cylinder mesh for this. So let's add it by shift A key and select cylinder. We don't need the pop-up menu anymore so that let me close it by clicking N again. Let me place the cylinder at the bottom of the pawn. Press tab key to go into edit mode. Press S key to scale but first we want to scale it down in only Z axis. So press S plus Z so it will get scaled only in Z axis. And let me also uh, put it at the base of uh, uh, a reference image. Now I'm using scale plus shift Z so that Z axis gets locked and it will be scaled only in X and Y axis. Pressing mouse middle button and drag it up and down a bit to check our 3D shape. Now press Ctrl plus tab to go to mesh select mode and click on face to select only the top face of the cylinder. Now press again one key for front view and 5 key for orthogonal view. Now onwards we will only use extrude and scale options. So let's press E key to extrude as necessary and press left click to stop it. Now press S key to scale and drag mouse little bit to match with the reference image. You need to do trial and error a bit and a little experimentation here can help you a lot. Repeat the extrude and scale process accordingly up to the top portion of the pawn. mouse button and dragging it a little up and down you can check the shape and finish of a, a pawn piece for the top part we can also continue with the same process but we can see here that the top part is a sphere 
so why to bother to extrude and scale we have uv sphere in our mesh selection so we can use it directly press shift a again to add uv sphere please make sure that your 3d cursor has to be at the center otherwise sphere will get added to some place else shortcut for centering your cursor is shift plus c now accordingly place your uv sphere on top of your pawn you can drag blue z axis arrow for this click blue arrow and drag it in the z axis a bit to match it with the reference image now scale it accordingly and we are done with the pawn modeling now press tab key to come out from edit mode to the object mode go to the shading option on your left hand side panel and click on smooth this will make shadows a bit smoother press F12 to render and check our pawn if it is not coming properly then please adjust camera view by pressing shortcut 0 on the numpad try and experiment and render again make it a bit smaller by scaling it down now we'll add material to it for that go to the right hand side properties panel and locate materials if you are not able to find it click on the border of the panel and drag it a bit until you find a material button press on the material button under its option press on new button it will open its default options first of all change the default name from material 01 to any of your choice I am using pawn as the name and press enter. Now go to diffuse and select any color of your choice by little experimentation. I like black so I am selecting black for my pawn. Now render again by pressing F12 and check our pawn. It's looking nice and shiny. Now we'll use modifier for fine tuning our pan pawn's edges. For that you have to go to modifier tab. It is just left of the materials tab and it, is, it has got tool icon on it. Click on it, it will show you many options but for now we will select subdivision surface modifier only. Now again go to edit mode by pressing tab key and press ctrl plus r at the place where you want to tweak the shape. By this we are adding many loop cuts to our selected place and afterwards by selecting and scaling we can tweak the shape. After clicking Ctrl plus R for increasing loop cuts, just scroll your mouse wheel to front side. Here also experiment a bit and find out the best solution for yourself. Repeat the process Ctrl plus R and scale at every surface where you want to make the surface smoother. Finally render it by pressing F12 and check it again. We can add light by selecting lamp from the same panel where the material panel is. So under lamp option there are 5 lamps, point, sun, spot, hemi and area. Just select one by one and experiment it according to your taste. Render it and check for each light. 
I'm using Sun as my lamp here. Save your project. I'm using pawn underscore iitb underscore tutorial dot blend. Now for making. chessboard again press shift plus a to add cube mesh and make it like a chessboard shape by scaling first in z direction and then by locking z axis using shift plus z and scaling it in x y axis only make shape according to your needs adjust both board as well as pawn Now we'll add texture to our board. For that, first of all, we'll have to add material first. Then only we'll be able to add texture to it. So select any material. Also change the default name to chessboard and and there also change the default name and uh, then select type as a image or movie click on open and select your texture image file here also you can use Google to search any file uh, or you can also make your own texture file using Jim software render again and you can see now that our board and pawn both are both have both have started looking like what we wanted try and adjust the shape of both and place the pawn accordingly on the board by using front view scale it down a bit so in perspective it looks nice so here is our final model for pawn and the chessboard press 0 for camera view and try and adjust both and then press F12 to render it and save the image as .jpg or .png file and send them to Samir sir now we can turn off our background reference image by unchecking the background image you can check it in quad view by pressing ctrl alt q and that's it 
I hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial and learned something out of it. Thank you all. See you later. Take care.